Now, John, one of the most important topics of your research has been the issue of trial by jury. And that seems to be something that is difficult to obtain, but you're saying it should apply in all court matters, all matters before the court, regardless of whether they're smaller, minor matters, trivial matters, or more serious offences. Oh, yes, in fact, uh, I've been to the High Court seven times, <laughs> fighting for what I believe is truth and justice. And on one occasion, Michael Kirby said, uh, Mr. Wilson, would you have trial by jury in the family court? And I did this, I said, in any action, like that. And he said, would you have trial by jury for spitting on the footpath? I said, in any action, because they're the words in the Common Law Procedures Act of 1899. You've got to have, in fact, it's up to you, your choice. When you go into court, you know, the proceedings are by consent, okay? And uh, you automatically have the right to trial by jury in every situation. Doesn't matter if it's parking fine or, <laughs> or, or, or raping somebody, you've got to have trial by jury. Okay, and the only way you can dispense with trial by jury is by you signing a memorandum of consent. Say, no, I don't want a trial by jury in this particular case. I'll allow X, Y, Z to hear and judge this case. You've got to sign that memorandum, that contract. Unless you sign that, that contract, the court has got no jurisdiction to proceed summarily. That's Halsbury's laws. You cannot. But I would point out that many people, many of our viewers and listeners, and the general public have been to court over matters, whatever the matter might be, most people will say, I don't recall or remember signing any such memorandum. You, you, you're never told. You, you were uninformed. In America, they say you can't even arrest somebody without reading their rights, okay? So every time you're supposed to go into court, you've got to have your rights explained to you. In fact, that was the procedure up until about 1900. And then they dropped that. They said, oh, no, the judge doesn't have to explain your rights to you anymore. You've got to find out. What, and the lawyers aren't going to tell you. Does this mean you would only find out what your rights are if you specifically asked? Well, number one, you've got to learn the lessons of history. Find out where trial by jury comes from. <laughs> it actually has its origins in the Bible in Matthew 18. And it says that if you've got a dispute with your neighbour, try and set up man to man. If you can't do that, then you, <laughs> you take... Uh, a few witnesses along to the church. Well, in other words, the uh, ecclesia, which is a, so. In other words, that lays down the, uh, the ground rules for trial by jury, of going to your equals, okay, and uh, and uh, you can't have uh, somebody uh, representing the, the other side, uh, uh, or being the tribunal. This is why another legal maxim, you can't judge in your own cause. So if you've got an action, say against the police, okay? Uh, and the, the police are paid uh, by the Crown, and the, the judges and magistrates are paid by the Crown, there's no independence. So in other words, all the R cases, so-called R cases, must be tried by jury. But they don't allow it. They say, oh no, a magistrate will handle this. In fact, they've even passed these <laughs> Mickey Mouse laws saying that the court will consist of a judge only. And that's so diabolical because they're, they are taking your rights away to the lawful judgment of your equals. And you determine whether you want it. If you don't want a jury because you know, it's, a, it's a parking fine, you say, oh, I don't want to bother anybody. I'll, I'll just accept them because I can see in the, the statutes that it's only a $50 fine. You know? But if you find that you're being badly treated, and you think, oh, that's in excess, that doesn't fit the, the, the offence. Here's a, a $700 fine for, for going at 60 miles an hour, or over the, uh, uh, 10 miles out of the limit, and perfectly safe, no victim, no whatever. I'll put this to a jury, and I'll determine. And if they decide, oh, he's guilty, he's done wrong, but that's only a, a $20 fine. Now, you know, all the judgments come from a jury. And those judgments include uh, passing of sentence and uh, awarding benefits. If you, if you want the damages of, say, $100,000, and they say, oh, no, this is far worse than that, then he deserves a million dollars. The jury determine uh, the judgment, and the judgment is the pronouncing of sentence. In fact, when you have a, a, a trial, you have uh, uh, two results. You have the verdict. The verdict is guilty or not guilty, okay? In other words, he's guilty, he's done wrong. If he's not guilty, he's not done wrong. So if you say, okay, he's guilty, then the jury 
make the judgment. Not the judge or the magistrate, but what happens here is that, okay, somebody's found guilty of burglary or something, and then the jury is dismissed, and then the judge says, I'll pass sentence. And you say, you've got no jurisdiction, I've given you no, no consent. Doesn't matter. They say, I don't care. They totally overrule uh, the laws of uh, the court. Uh, in fact, a kangaroo court, by definition, a court that acts unfairly or dishonestly or disregards legal rights or disregards legal procedures. We have got kangaroo courts out of control in this country. So would you agree with my observation that, ironically, getting them to follow their own rules can be one of the most difficult challenges in all of this? Well, if, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If the, if the judges were honest and fair, and you say, I've got confidence that uh, there'll be justice served. No problem, you know. But as soon as things start to go belly up, you say, oh, that's not right, that's not fair, and so forth. Then you've got to stand up and say, no, I've got my inalienable right, <laughs> inherited common law right, to the trial by my equals, trial by jury, and say, you, you stand up and challenge the jurisdiction. But it's up to you. You've got uh, the right of conscience, you decide which way you want to go. If you say, yes, I'll accept the ruling of this magistrate because I know that I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get a slap on the wrist or a, a caution or something like that, and I say, that's fair. So you decide. But if you decide, Anna, uh, I'm in peril of going to jail when I, I don't think that's right. I'll put that to my equals. They'll decide because democracy means that the people rule, not the so-called government. In fact, um, many years ago, a fellow called Lysander Spooner wrote the definitive essay on trial by jury. Lysander Spooner, uh, 1852. He laid it all out. He laid exactly what the resp responsibilities of a jury are. They determine what is the law. They judge the justice of the law. Okay? And, and, and any judgment is entirely down to their conscience. What they believe is right and fair. They uh, determine if it's been, uh, the act has been committed and if there's been a guilty mind, you've got to have those two elements, the, the uh, actus rea and the mens rea. You've got to have both elements, otherwise there's no, no offence. So if you've got a guilty mind, you've done wrong, and the jury will decide the whole thing. But they've got to be educated. They've got to be a fully informed jury. In America, they've got the Fully Informed Jury Association. And they lay, lay it all out. They're protecting their constitutional rights. We should be doing the same thing. We've got to protect our rights if we want to survive.